I'm Chess Pry. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And today I'm very excited to finally be playing through the first week of The Sims 4's new reward event, The Sims 4 Reaper Rewards. If you don't know what this is, basically this is similar to the Happy at Home login and rewards event we had where we would log into The Sims 4 a certain amount of times and we would earn rewards that then got added into our base game. Except this time, we have put a bit more effort er, and we actually have to earn the items through gameplay. And with it being the spooky season and the life and death pack coming out, they have made this event completely based around helping in and earning rewards from the Grim Reaper. And from what I understand, this is basically going to be a six week walkthrough on how to make Ambrosia. Which I feel like is kind of cool because I feel like Ambrosia is one of those base game things that people either don't know about or don't do because it's such a long process to make it. So I'm actually pretty excited to play through because I haven't made Ambrosia much. Like I said, this is a six week event so unfortunately it is a timed event which I don't love timed events but I've already said why so many times so I won't make you listen to that rant again but... They are at least giving us eight weeks to complete it this time. As you can see, I'm not starting on the day it started, which was September 24th, because I wasn't able to log in due to some personal stuff, but I am able to actually still play the event, and this will also be true for when the event is in the future weeks. As long as you complete the event before November 19th, you will be able to go back to all the unlocked weeks and play the event. And yes, I said unlocked. As you can see here, I'm still playing during week one. So all the other weeks are actually still locked with a countdown timer to when you can unlock them and see those quests. So I can't actually see what the next week's quests are, unfortunately, but... What we do have is we have a timeline of rewards you will earn and in what order. If you are interested in this, I already posted a video where I went over what rewards we're getting what week. So feel free to go check that out. It was a couple of videos ago. But I'm also happy to report that they have changed the one thing I didn't like about this event or these events besides the fact that they're timed, and that's how the items you earned are saved. So last time, um, the items you got uh, saved to your game files, and that meant if you lost your game files, you lost the content forever. But this time, they are saving them to your EA account, so as long as you have the same account you earn these rewards under, you should be able to have these rewards forever. But also, if you do miss the event, people upload these items both to the gallery and as custom content. So if you do miss out, you can also get them that way. But I think this is going to be a fun challenge to play through. So I actually want to play through it, not just download the items. But in this video, I will be playing through the first week. But I don't think I'm going to be doing a weekly video on this. What I will probably do after this week is do a video every two weeks. So, week two and three will be a video. Week four and five will be a video. And then I will do a video over week six and then kind of do a review of all the rewards and whatnot to kind of wrap it up for that last video. But this week we have two quests and multiple items to earn, so let's jump into it. So for this first week, we have two quests to complete, and they both come with points. And the first one comes with 175 points, and the other one comes with 225 points. And you collect these points to claim your rewards. And I'm assuming that each event is going to be worth more points, because these two, like, it went up in, in the amount of points. I'm assuming you have to have more points to earn the rewards as it goes on. That just tends to be how it works for other games, at least. So, oh, the first quest is called Assistant to the Grim Reaper. Grim needs your help. Start learning everything you can about Ambrosia. 
And then the second one is called A Call Away. Perhaps the Ambrosia site a newsletter could be closer, get you closer to the truth. So let's go ahead and meet the sim we are going to be playing this Rewards Reaper event with. So to play through this challenge, I have brought back a sim from the dead. If you watched my video where I play through the sims for a love struck deaths, you may or may not, I don't know, they look quite different now, but you may recognize my sim Quinn here as the sim I killed from a broken heart twice. So I felt like they would have somewhat of a relationship with Grimm because of that, and honestly, I kind of felt bad for killing them because they are a really cool sim so this is kind of their redemption so the storyline I'm going with here is they died but with a heart full of revenge so they made a deal with Grimm if he brought them back to life and helped them kill those that had hurt them aka their ex that broke their heart and the person that they left them for then they would help Grimm with this event so let's go ahead and get the event rolling, then we will murder some sims, and then I will do the tasks for the event. But first, I'm going to uh, go over the sim in a little bit more detail for those that don't know them, and show off the house I built for this real quick. So for this little mini-series, I have brought back my sim Quinn Kindle, previously known as Quentin Kindle. They are a transgender, trans... Uh, from male to female and they use they them and she her pronouns now they definitely look quite a bit different now the last time we played with this sim they were er, pretty much wearing everything from love struck they wore a lot of pink they did wear some black but they wore a lot of pink they had long pink hair light pretty pink makeup and now they are quite the opposite. They're decked out in all black. They have the hood up like Grimm does. Um, they have the dark dramatic makeup. Like basically the only thing they're still wearing from before is the same eyeshadow, the same eye piercing, and the same choker. Everything else on them has changed because they have come back a little bit different and that even goes for personality wise so beforehand when we played with Quinn their aspiration was to find their soulmate but they were unflirty socially awkward but they were loyal because they wanted to be with the love of their life well now that they died with revenge in their heart and they have come back for murder and to help Sim uh Grimm they have some new traits. So they're still in flirty. That's just one of their major features. They have just never been like good at flirty interactions. But instead of loyal, they are now out evil. And instead of socially awkward, they are now outgoing. So she, they have a bit more uh, of a, well, I won't say more of a social skill because they have no skills. But they are going to be able to do a little bit better socializing hopefully but now as their aspiration they also have the villainous valentine which we're not going to play through this aspiration but that uh, just kind of shows that she wants to crush some hearts get revenge you know make herself feel better about what was done to her or them she goes by them and her so i'm probably going to be going back and forth between those pronouns so Sorry if it's a little confusing. But real quick, let me show off this little home we will be playing in. Emphasis on little. So I decided not to move back into the pink and black apartment, even though we are killing their ex that currently lives there. Because one, I thought it might be awkward for them after living there with him. But mostly because I really wanted to do this series in a micro home. Because I know making ambrosia takes a lot of skill building, a lot of time, and a lot of waiting on plants to grow. And I want to speed all of those things up as much as possible. Therefore, the micro home. So my idea is that Grimm gave them this little home that mostly has what they need and, it'll, and a little bit of money to help them out. But when and they kill their ex, she will, will take the his money and then they can buy whatever they want 
But to start out, Grim has custom designed this house for them. And, and because of that, it's a bit quirky. Like, he tried to make it blend in with Willow Creek, but it's just a little off. So let me show you what I mean. So the first thing I want people to notice about this house is that it's kind of hidden and back off the street. Especially compared to the other houses in Willow Creek. Like, these are kind of very close up to the street and whatnot, but this one is kind of hidden with fences and trees and whatnot. And I kind of did that because I felt like Grim would have wanted them to have some privacy in doing this mission. So, oh, it's a little bit more hidden than the others, but it has a nice little lake up or I guess pond up in the front yard. I figured because to make ambrosia, you have to catch angelfish. So, will probably be fishing a lot so I figured any fish that she catches which there is actual fishing spots over here and whatnot but any fish that they catch I figured they could put in the pond and that would be kind of a th fun thing to do and then you wind around here we have a little bench here with the the classic Willow Creek mailbox and this build is a lot of black and pink as you can see there's pink trees the wood is pink. It's actually the same wood on that house, but it has like a black brick underneath. And that's because there's a lot of black accents. The pink is kind of owed to Quinn's uh, original look. It was very pink and black. And then I wanted to make it fit in with Little Creek. So I put the same pink that was over there on here. But, like I said, everything else is pretty much black, considering that's kind of her error, or their error right now, is being in their black evil face. <laughs> so, when you first come into the yard, we have this little garden here. And this garden is kind of funky by itself. It has the little old trees with the round balls on it. It has the light-up tree that has a little gnome slash fairy door and it has a little gnome hiding behind it and of course I had to make it the Grim, Grim Reaper one. Um, we have a little seance table kind of put in the corner here so the, the fence is kind of hiding it from plain view and then we have to grow a death flower so I put a little uh, gardening area over here as well and I don't know why I decided to put it in the shape of a triangle but I just saw it was quirky and it worked. <laughs> and then um, over here, I did try to leave kind of like just some plain yard space in case there's something that comes up that I need to place out in the yard. But I did try to also not leave it completely empty. So I did get some bonsai trees to practice the gardening skill and put a random telescope out here. And then we have the actual house, which honestly, I think this house, even with it being super tiny, is super cute. So this is like kind of the outside view. Ew, it has, it, it, the paneling in the wood is very Willow Creek and the top windows and the fireplace are very Willow creek eek. but like the windows and the doors are not. It's definitely a little bit more modern than most Willow Creek houses. And I just thought that kind of, uh, showed its quirkiness. So you have this little front porch you step onto with the columns, very Willow Creek esque, especially this light, very Willow Creek. But then we have this sliding door. You come in, and almost everything is in one room due to the typical fashion of a tiny home. So you come in, this is the front door area. We have a little living space here where you can check yourself in the mirror before you go out. We have a little fishy. I want to. Uh, by her so she oh, they have like a little pet we have a sitting chair and then we have the bedroom <laughs> quote unquote room but it has a little office area with a computer in case we need it we have a little ghost gnome because we had the grim reaper gnome i figured we should have the ghost gnome we have a bunk bed that has a little shelf and plants up here it has a little creepy hand just thought that kind of fit the vibe and then over here, we have the little kitchenette. So we have fridge, sink. Um, we have like a recipe book or journaling, whichever you prefer with uh, oven and whatnot. And I kind of liked lining these shelves all on the top wall here. I just thought it was a really fun detail. And then right by the 
the kitchen, we have the bathroom, very tiny bathroom. Um, in true micro home fashion, the sink is in the kitchen and the bathroom does not have a sink, which is right why the bathroom is right next to the kitchen. But we do have a shower and a toilet and a second full length mirror because honestly, I don't know if the one out in the living space is actually as accessible. I just liked the way it looked. So we have a little mirror here in the bathroom if we need it. And then last, we have a little reading or um, I'm sorry, dining slash living area. So we have a, a space for them to come sit and eat their food while they can watch TV. And that is the entire lot. Like <laughs> I was not kidding it is super tiny, but I actually kind of love it. All right, but let's get this actual quest started now because the first thing we have to do is wait for a phone call from Grimm. So I should press play and it pop up almost automatically. Yep, there we go. All right, so like I said, this phone call is from the Grim Reaper himself and it says Reaper's Rewards Week 1. Psst. Hey, you. Over the centuries, my memory has grown foggy. I've heard rumblings about a special dish called ambrosia that could just jeopardize my job. Complete the assistant to Grim Reaper and the callaway quest to help me understand. All right, so then it gives us our task. There are two different ones we can complete, and we have to complete both. Is there one we that we're supposed to complete first. Well, okay, to get back to that uh, um, menu I started on, you press this little Grim Reaper icon here, and it should be in the corner of all your your saves. Like it does this for some reason, and I don't like this. The tasks don't just go to one save. Like you can complete them in any save, which I think is kind of stupid. But either way, it's the the icon to get to the that page is right here. So we open this. All right, it says the assistant to the Grim Reaper is first. Then why is it second in the list? That's so weird. Okay. But to start off, and I believe as we complete tasks, we'll get more tasks, but we have to ask threesomes about ambrosia and order a flower se a seed packet, a starter flower seed packet. But before we do any of that, I do want to get the killing them because they are only going to help Grim if their ex dies. So let's go ahead and head back to the old apartment. All right, we are back at the old apartment to get our revenge for killing us from a broken heart and taking all our money and our apartments. Actually, it was their apartment and their money, but they took it all. So we are back to get our revenge. Um, I'm just going to close this real quick, and I, I do kind of want her to sneak in, but I don't want her to do an actual break-in, so we are going to knock on the door, but we're going to pretend like she's, or they're sneaking in, and the ex and the ex's lover doesn't know that we're here. Okay, okay, don't go in the house, don't go in the house, go here, and actually, honestly, I think the best way for me to do this with the way I'm wanting to kill them storyline wise would be to actually add them to my household, which I know that is so weird. That is so weird, but we're just going to straight up right quick, go ahead and add to family. Let's see. That's our, our ex's lover. Where's our ex? Let's see. I know you're in here. Of course you're swimming. Of course you are. Because what else would you be doing? Because that's literally all you do. Every time I load into the slot, this man is swimming in this pool. <laughs> all right. But um, let's see. You go here. You, you you actually can stay watching TV. I actually don't mind that. Um, How about you watch channel, watch comedy? I just want to go ahead and get them both up here. So if you could get out of the pool so I could teleport you upstairs. Because I can't teleport you while you're swimming. The annoying thing about teleporting. Okay. And now I should be able to uh, teleport you up here. So let's go ahead and reset. And then you can go ahead and teleport behind your boyfriend and watch current channel. So let's do that. There we go. Okay. They're both in here. You stop going in there. I know that is like your computer and whatnot, but could you just like get back out here? Thank you. Okay. So the storyline behind this death 
is going to be a vicious, invisible killer rabbit. So let me explain. I think the easiest way for me to kill these sims and the quickest way, because it's not the main point of this video, I just really want to get her revenge. I feel like she deserves redemption, is to cheat their deaths. So the easiest way to cheat a death in The Sims 4 is to easily just... Sh okay, hold on. We need to be on the sim that is going to die. Okay. The easiest way to kill a sim, and we're going to kill the partner first because I really want uh, the ex to suffer and the ex is going to have to watch his partner die, is to shift click and then click kill and then cl click be slammed by a vicious killer rabbit. And every time I've done this, because like I said, this is one of the easiest ways to kill a sim if you don't mind cheating. The only problem with it is the rabbit's always invisible. So literally what happens is we just get a random hole in the ground and then all of a sudden your sim gets attacked by air and then they're fighting the air and then they like fall in the ground and like crawl like to their death. It's, it's a really dramatic, but it's kind of funny when the bunny is invisible. And I thought the, that glitch worked perfectly for this story. Because, like, the bunny being invisible can mean it's, like, a ghost bunny. So, what if it's, like, Grimm's evil uh, ghost rabbit that he sends to hunt, hunt people and, and kill? So, Grimm has let Quinn borrow the rabbit. They are going to release it into their, their old apartment and have it kill the ex and their partner so let's go ahead and kill the partner with a vicious rabbit so i am very much wanting to see this so let's go ahead and there we guys see it just gets attacked it's fighting the air and then it is crawling to its death gets strung back and dies you are Dead, that's what you get for taking our man. Okay. But, oh my goodness. <laughs> this face, though. This face, though. I, I love that face. Okay. So, while Grim is killing this Sim, we are going to come over here, come stand beside Grim because and we're happy. Oh, we're in the presence of death, and that's making us sad. Yeah, you might not want that. You might not want that. <laughs> But, um, stop crying, come stand beside Grim, and then next, very much next, we're going to cancel him doing all this, and we are going to kill, kill by a vicious killer rabbit. And you're the death I really want to see, so if you could come over here, um, and stand over here while this guy is dying, oh my goodness, <laughs> this shot though, this is the shot some of the shots I want yeah let's get this shot he, he is just crawling oh my god oh he is crawling to his lover his dead lover <laughs> oh my god that's the shot that's the shot okay okay I'm sorry I know I keep saying that's the shot but for real like that was fantastic I don't understand why I she's upset considering they hate each other but whatever whatever we're going to let Grim do his business here. Um, um, can you stop crying? Could you stop crying? I don't want to plead for their death either. We have to talk to Grim. I want to talk to Grim because in my head this is, he's going to be like, all right, the Sims are dead. You have your money back. Um, speaking of which, when these Sims die, I'm, I, I'm totally cheating some money to as if I just totally took their whole inheritance. <laughs> Or I guess I don't know to call it inheritance, but their their wealth. They she took their wealth. Can you can you stop witnessing the deaths? Like you're really being annoying with the whole crying thing, and I would very much like for you to just let Grim do his thing, okay? Because um we're supposed to be helping Grim, and he's helping us. So okay, but um can you kill them, Grim? Thank you. I wanted to get a picture of Grim killing them, so. Let's get this shot here of both of them dead on the floor with the bunny uh, holes and Grim just <laughs> killing them. Just killing them. All right. So we have that shot. And then Grim, you can come here and kill our ex. And then we will start the quest to help you out. 
in my mind, this is when, like, wow. Grandma's gonna uh, tell them the whole plan and, like, we receive Pacific instructions. Even though, like, we already got the phone call, but we are, like, on the phone call, like, well, you better help us first, you know? So, let's fast forward this death. Come on, let's go, because deaths take forever in this game. Come on, there we go. Okay, well, I wanted to get a picture of him holding the soul in his hand, but oh well. Alright, so right quick, before, um, Grim disappears, uh, because I don't live on the lot, Grim disappeared. Okay, we're going to pretend, like, she talked to him. Real quick, because um, I did not mean for her to get sent home after that. <gasps> Wait, we didn't. We didn't. Oh, okay. Okay. It just it just wanted to reload the lot. Okay, actually, this is kind of perfect, because now I can uh, edit the lot and uh, move the graves. So, I kind of want to put, like, a little spot for them here. I don't know if anyone's going to live here, but we're going to leave their graves here. <laughs> Which may sound so morbid. But let, let's just put a little shrine up for them. Okay, this may seem a little messed up. But what if we put, like, a love day table? Because the whole apartment is pink and black. And this gives the pink vibes. And it has hearts on it for, like, it being her ex and their lovers. So, I kind of love that. So, we have that there. We have this. Maybe we can put some flowers on it. We're not horribly mean. We're not horribly mean. Do we have a dead plant? Is that thing? Do we have like a dead house plant? I don't think we do. That would be. Wait, no, no. The new flower from the new kit comes in dead flower earths. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get this here and pick out a dead flower. There we go. So some dead flowers for their dead ex and his lover. Okay. All right. Again, I don't think anyone's living in this apartment, but their, their spirits will be here to haunt it forever. So now, before we go, right quick, let's go ahead and... Okay, I know it says we're doing an introduction to Grimm, but uh, we're just um, going to pretend we already know Grimm and we're just saying, hey, what's up? Is Grimm flirty? Why, why is Grimm flirty? I've never seen Grimm be flirty. I am so confused. <laughs> I am so confused by that, but okay. Okay, well, here we are. Here we are with Grimm. Let's go ahead right quick. Um, Just do a little bit of chatting. I don't want to, like, bore him or anything, but I do want to get to know him a little bit. So, uh, we're, we're, we're going to talk to him and pretend this is him, like, giving us our instructions. So, maybe we can uh, small talk. I know he's flirty, but our girl is unflirty, so I don't think that's the route we want to do. Maybe we can just get to know him, you know, oh, uh, discuss interests. Perhaps we can talk about dreams. Just get a little chatting done. If I see it's going to go bad, I'm just going to cancel it. But, um, yeah, we just learned about his financial status. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, Speaking of financial status, I said I would cheat eat the money um cheats true okay so her current money is three thousand that's what grim gave her and we want to add on to that and i went and down and wrote her ex's amount because her ex is rich when they were together they were a rich couple so the money he took was eighty eight thousand nine hundred and nineteen dollars so that would be ninety so we have to type in money, and then that would be 91919. Oh, that's funny. It's 91919. Love that. Love that. Okay. But we're rich again. We have our money back. Our exes are dead. So it is the time for Grim to give us our instructions. We will just chat with him a little bit, gain a little bit of friendship. Maybe we can listen to Nathu's about rocker fashion. I feel like it's a little obsessive. Maybe we can just be funny and tell a joke. Maybe we can joke. I don't feel like we should joke about body hair or facial hair considering he has neither of those. And I don't think he would care about politics. So let's tell a joke about ducks. And maybe we can, uh, uh, what's the, uh, yeah, we can just 
bait existence of vampires. We're just going to do some random stuff here just to gain a little bit of friendship with him because I feel like that couldn't hurt. That couldn't hurt, right? Um, let's not ask him to help clean. I don't want to do any of this stuff. None of this seems like good ideas what they're telling us to do. Maybe we'll tell an engaging story. And then, honestly, let's just do one more friendly thing. Maybe we can deep thoughts. Go ahead and have a deep conversation and get exactly the instructions we need uh, for this mission. Even though we have them up in the corner, but this is Scrim telling them. So, let's see. Um, I do want to get a picture, another picture of them talking, maybe, with Grim in the background. There we go. Let's get that picture. Okay. So let's fast forward, and then they're going to have this deep conversation. Okay, stop telling your story. Grim is a busy, busy death person thing. So he is telling us our instructions, and we will go out on the city and complete them. Now, I did change their look completely to kind of match the Grim Reaper. What are you doing? Don't insult the Grim Reaper. No, no. Okay, okay. We can just say goodbye. Can we Can we just say goodbye? Let's see. Let's say goodbye. Okay. You gave us our instructions. We'll talk to you later, Grim. I get a feeling we'll be seeing you soon. But for now, I am saying goodbye. Goodbye, Grim. Thank you. All right. And we will be on that mission. So, like I said, they are kind of dressed like the Grim Reaper. I just thought this hood from the goth kit was too perfect. But this is their look when no when they aren't in disguise so now their disguise is what they used to look like um when they go out and talk to people but when they're by themselves or at their house they're going to be wearing this but to go talk to people i am going to go ahead and change her out or their outfit back into what they what happened to their outfit that is not the outfit they used to wear okay well their hot weather outfit is the one this was supposed to match their everyday. I don't know what happened to their everyday. Like, that just changed on its own. Weird. Okay, well, we'll put them in their hot weather outfit for their disguise. And everything looks exactly the same, except for the fact that we have this dark... I wouldn't want to call it crying makeup, because we have crying makeup, but this smeared... I mean, we're going to pretend this is, like, permanently on their skin from being dead... But other than that, they look pretty much the same as they used to. But let's go ahead and head out to the city real quick. Since we do have to ask three sims about Ambrosia. So, the city's over here. Let's see who we have. Who we have. Oh, this person's typically easy to talk to. Pablo. 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 Let's go ahead and teleport here. And introduce ourselves to Paula. So it says, ask three sims about Ambrosia. Someone must know something about Ambrosia. Socialize with sims and select Ambrosia. Just make sure to introduce yourself first. So let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction. Do we have any social skill at this point? We have a little bit. We have a little bit. So let's try to socialize with a sim. Now, if you watched the video the sim was last in, you would know they were very socially awkward. Um... And I'm flirty. So, their, let's see, what, yeah, their likes and dislikes, um, they used to hate, like, all conversation topics and, and, and whatnot, both under flirty and regular, but now I've taken off all the dislikes that are, like, conversation topics that aren't flirty, and she even likes pranks, deception, and malicious now. So, oh. Uh, but they still hate all types of, like, flirty stuff. But the Grim did change their social awkwardness to help them out with this challenge. So let's see how well we can get to know this person a little bit before we ask them about Ambrosia. So maybe we can, um, I don't want to scare them. That All I'm getting is scared. So let's go ahead and have some small talk. Maybe we can ask them about their career. And we can get to know, and then we can perhaps be funny and tell a funny story. Let's just get a little bit of a friendship up with this sim. Okay. How do we already have 200 notifications? How? Okay. Um, maybe we can tell an engaging story. We can ask about a day. We can, uh, 
friendly. Lot. Let's discuss interests. <laughs> yeah, Maybe we can describe a new idea. Please we can uh, tell a joke about body hair. So let's see. Let's just see if we can get our friendship up a little bit. It would be easier if we were on our home lot. But, you know, this is fine. Let's um support his facial hair. Because he has some decent facial hair. Maybe we can... Uh, let's see. Oh, no. He's trying to walk away from us. Dude, no. No. Reset. Don't walk away from us. We're not done with you. I know you're tired. For some reason. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. But, you know, let's ask him to pursue his dream job. Maybe we can tell a dramatic story, have a deep conversation, and uh, joke about body hair. Let's just get a bit of a friendship with them. Um, I don't think we're at friends yet. I think we're, we just know each other. Sorry, Quinn. I don't feel oh, like I know you all enough to have that conversation. Oops. Sorry. Okay, well, we can share photos. That's a cute thing to do. Talk about dreams. I just want to, like, make sure the interaction goes well. Oh, we're sad now. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe we're sad about the fact that we died and not so much about our ex died. Okay, but honestly, I feel like after this, we should be able to ask them about Ambrosia. Like, we have a decent friendship we're not up to friends but we have a decent friendship so maybe after this we can ask about ambrosia after we do whatever we're about to do which i'm not 100 sure and sure what is but whatever come here oh we're looking at photos okay yeah that's fine that's fine maybe let's also get a picture er, of that okay all right but let's see what happens when we ask about ambrosia Hey, come here. Come here. Ask about Ambrosia. Let's see what he says. Let's see what he says. Um. Anything? Anything? We should get a little pop-up, right? About him asking what he says. Did it cancel it? Yeah, it canceled it. Ask about Ambrosia. Please ask. Okay, now she's asking. All right, let's see what they say. I seem to recall Ambrosia is a gourmet food. Okay, yeah, so that is implying that we're going to have to have the gourmet cooking skill, which means we're going to have to work on the cooking skill. We might add some lot traits to the house when we get back, honestly. All right, so we don't, as far as I can tell, we don't have to have a full friendship with them. Hold on, let me, let me go to her profile. Did they end up being friends or are they still just acquaintances? They're still acquaintances. Okay, so you don't have to get to a full friendship. You just have to get friendly with them. Okay. Can, can you... What? No, don't insult him. Why do you keep trying to insult people that are helping you? All right. But let's go ahead and see who else we can chat with. Um, This person seems a little stuck up. I know that person's stuck up. Who else can we talk to? I mean, this person seems pretty down to earth. Lillian? So maybe we can talk to them. Let's reset them and come and do a friendly introduction. Come on. Let's come talk to this person. Let's go. Let's go. Let's come talk to him. We're already talking to Paolo, so. All right. But let, let's see. Oh, we actually got a, a decent starter friendship level. That actually helps out a lot. Okay. Let's go ahead and share photos. Maybe we can... Uh, Pro's a crazy scheme. We can talk about warm temperatures. Let's talk about dreams. Let's um, discuss interests. Just trying to get a bunch of friendly interactions here. Um, maybe we... I don't want to do any of that. Discuss healthy relationships, perhaps. Oh, they're uncomfortable. I wonder if that will affect them telling me about Ambrosia. Maybe we... Let's um, discuss interests. And then after all of that, we'll ask about Ambrosia. It canceled last time when I set it up in the queue. Okay, our friendship got faster up with this person than it did uh, the other person. I'm actually quite impressed how quickly our friendship got up. Okay, well, maybe do we, are we, are we friends with them already? I feel like there's no way, right? Let's see, hold on, open profile. Friend, oh, we're friends, okay. Well, maybe we will, um, how did I discuss her uncomfortable mood? It was just there. It was just there. 
Uh, I'm just trying to get her to not be uncomfortable, but I don't know what the interaction is under. Oh no, it's under deep thoughts. I feel like it would be under deep thoughts, but I guess not. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and maybe affection. We could just. No, it says awkward hug. I only have an awkward hug. Maybe just small talk. Go ahead and ask about day. Okay, so we're going to ask about our day. See if she'll tell us anything. And then we are going to ask about ambrosia. So let's see if this girl. Hey! Uh, oh, okay. She did tell us. She just walked away afterwards. <gasps> make sure you know how to fish. You'll need it if you want to make ambrosia. Okay, that's because of the angelfish. And now we need to talk to one more person. But honestly, I I, I kind of want to go back home. <laughs> I kind of want to go back home and see if we can find someone walking around our house. Because we do need to actually get back home so we can plant some stuff before we uh, uh, lose daylight. So let's go ahead and travel on back home. And then we'll I'll get a start seat packet and see if anyone shows up around our house. All right, we are back home. I don't see anyone walking around automatically. So let's go ahead and get that starter seat packet before we do anything else. I believe if we go here, here, yeah, here we go. Starter flowers. Should we get more than one? It says we just need to buy one. So I guess we'll just buy one. Let's go ahead and open the seat packet. All right, there we go. And it checked off. So now we have to plant a lily and plant a snapdragon. Did we get those? Let's see. We got those snapdragon and lily. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Well, is there anyone walking around? Because we, we still need to talk to someone else. Um, I'm not seeing anyone queuing up yet. Maybe we'll go ahead and plant our flowers. So let's go. We have to plant two. So we'll plant them on the second row. So we can plant one of those. Do we need more than one? I really don't remember. Let's just go ahead and, and plant these. So let's go ahead and plant some flowers here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Get a picture of them planting the flowers. Oh, wait. Hold on. Bef before you finish planting them, I want to use... Uh, actually, I could just use MC Command Center and you wouldn't have to cancel. But dresser, change outfit, and in, back into your gothic outfit. Because when you're home doing this work, you should be in that outfit. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that shot. All right. So we planted a lily. Is it going to count? Oh, my God. It totally didn't count. Can I? And I can't just check it off. Uh, does it count if we water it? This is a glitch I've heard people having. Oh, yeah, it, it counted the plan of Snapdragon. I bet because I accidentally uh, canceled it. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's just sell that, Lily, and plant another one. Because I, I don't want it to not work. All right, so let's go ahead. It's probably because I canceled the interaction to, because I want her to change the outfit. So let's go ahead and get a, a better picture of her actually gardening here. That actually works out. Okay, so we should be able to plant, uh, have it check off now, right? It has been not checking off for people, but it totally just checked off for me. So we're good. So we have to research the plants and research ambrosia on a phone, tablet, or computer. And we've earned enough points to claim a reward. Okay, we can actually claim three rewards now. Okay, I'm happy about that. So the first one we can claim is, I think this is a gardening book. It's not telling me. Yeah, gardening level one. So that'll actually help us. Oh, apparently just by clicking on it, I claimed all of them. Okay, well, the next one we got was the original Freezer Boney. This is a little collection that uh, you can collect during this event. And then we have the Grimophone, which honestly is probably my favorite reward so far because it is a supernatural sound system with all the direct lines to Grim himself, allowing his mortal acquaintance to summon him day or night you can also play your favorite tunes if you're not if you're into that sort of thing so we claimed all these fantastic which i think you have to claim yeah we have to buy the gramophone for this one but i'm trying to focus on this one first so uh we have to, still have to talk about three uh ambrosia to the sims research plants and research ambrosia okay but we do need to water our plants too because um, to have them grow, we need them to be watered. 
All right, but this sim, hello, you're in my backyard, basically. So I'm going to talk to you. Let's reset you. Okay, did you water both those plants? No, you just watered that one. Oh, it's out of season. That's annoying. That's annoying. Hold up. Hold up. Why? Why? Why is it doing this to me? Okay, well, let me fix this real quick. All right, so I, I built a little roof over our garden, which I was not planning on doing, but I don't think it looks too bad. So we should be able to water this plant now. All right, so when you're done with that, come here and come talk to this person. So let's go ahead and teleport you over here when you're done watering your flower, which honestly... Should I get a picture of her, her watering this flower? Considering I just put up um, a roof over it. Maybe I should. Okay. So let's do that. And then we'll have you come talk to this person. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and do a friendly introduction to Lily here. Hello, Lily. I just need to get to know. Oh, wow. We, had, we quickly got a friendship up with them. Okay. Well, maybe... You know what? Let's just be weird and ask the cloud gaze. Let's just ask Boy, the cloud gaze. Sure. They're in the wrong outfit. They're supposed to be out of this outfit when, when I'm talking to people. Uh, but I'm about to have them change right back into it. But it's fine. Change outfit. Let, let's change into your hot weather wear. There we go. We're going to pretend she was in this hot weather wear the whole time. And then we're going to cloud gaze with Lily. You know, just get some friendship up here. Because even people that come back from the dead to kill other people and help Grimm on their quests deserve to have some friends. And that got their friendship up real quick. Okay. Okay. I don't think you need to cloud gaze anymore. <laughs> Yay. Cloud gazing and small home benefits. Okay. Let's ask about Al Ambrosia and see uh -huh. what the lady tells us. Uh -huh. Why I don't we? Let's see. What you got to tell for us? Ambrosia, I'm not sure how to make it, but I would love to learn and bring a ghost back to life. So, with that checked off, we have hard worker, easy friend. Looks like Quinn wants to be a friend to hardworking Sim. Uh, yeah, you can like hardworking Sims. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, uh, but we have completed those. We're still waiting on uh, Ambrosia letter. How long is it going to take to get to us? Okay, but we have to research a plant and research Ambrosia on a phone, tablet, or computer. So let's go ahead and head back home. So let's go ahead. I, I am teleporting them a lot, but they're literally working with Grimm. So maybe Grimm gave them that power. So let's go ahead and uh, teleport back in here. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. And then change your outfit back into your... Uh, revenge outfit perfect so now we need to do some research so let's go ahead I forget how you research I never research anything oh my goodness is under web research so we have to research a plant and we have to research ambrosia none of these Re research a plant oh we have to get to gardening skill level two to research it boo um, research Ambrosia here on a home app on the phone. Why, why am I not getting the option to research it? Okay, well, first of all, I didn't mean to press whatever. I just pressed there. This is so weird. Okay. Well, maybe we do have to research a plant first since it's in the order first. How far are we from getting gardening? Oh, we are only on 40%. Okay. So I'm, this is why I got these four, because <laughs> these uh, will get our gardening skill up, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and come work on this. Come on, let's go. Okay, we, oh, seriously, I thought this got up the, oh, yeah, it does get up the gardening skill. It just also gets up the flower arranging skill. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's clip this bush. Let's clip this bush. Let's get this gardening skill up to level two. With this yeah. being a micro home, and also, actually, something else that could help us. I did mention we are, we might add some lot traits when we get back. So, let's go ahead and get the one that helps with gardening. Um, let's see. Great soil. So, gardening seems to do really well here. We also... Oh, uh... 
Let's see. Let's just see what else we can get that would really help us. Okay, so this one helps with gardening and and cooking. So that will also be helping. I was kind of hoping there would be one that helped us with fishing. But I'm not really seeing that option. So maybe we'll just go with these two for now. And that should help us out. Um, I was kind of also saying there was like, uh -huh. I guess the haunted is under the lot challenges. I don't really want to deal with lot challenges, but I thought like haunted was a lot trait. Oh, well, I guess not. I guess not. I, I know there's haunted houses, so maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I right, but gardening's going to go, oh, well, here, and this should help cooking and gardening skills. So that will help us because we do have to get some cooking skill done here as well yeah. so let's quickly get this gardening out of the way Let, let's go all the way oh okay, we're almost level two there we go there we go okay so we can stop shaping that bush let's see these don't need anything and yeah, they don't need anything so we can come back in here now and we should now be able to go ahead and web research and research gardening so let's do that. Come on, let's go. Oh, there's a, a trash can. I did not put an indoor trash can. I just realized that. I did not put an indoor trash can at all. Okay, well, that's my bad, but there is an outdoor trash can. I could have swore I put an outdoor trash can. Okay, apparently I put no trash can on this slide. <laughs> Uh, why, why is that not surprise me? Of course I forgot a bin. Of course I did. Okay, well, let's go ahead and put a bin over here then, just so we have one, so I can throw that away. All right, so we are researching gardening. Fantastic. And I'm not seeing the, the option on the computer to research Ambrosia, but maybe after we get done researching this, that will change. So let's fast forward her researching this. All right. It didn't check off. Get ingredients. Re requires gardening skill or select a plant and reset. Oh. I thought it's a. Uh, oh, wait. I guess this is the one we have to research on a tablet or computer, which we still haven't got, but whatever. We can just click on it and click. What? Requires a green thumb. Reach gardening skill level two. Select a plant and research it. Does that have to be an already grown plant? Okay, so I looked around the world, and all of the plants I found around the world were either out of season or not fully grown. So, I did do a little sneaky sneak cheaty cheat and get a fully perfect quality rose bush off the gallery and put it under shelter. Um, I don't think we're actually going to need a rose, so I don't think it's that cheaty considering we don't actually need the actual flower. I just need something I can research because every other plant I clicked on I can't research but I can research this one so let's go ahead and come research this plant real quick no go away go away I just need you for a task I don't need you now okay so we, we are researching our plant let's go let's go let's see we still gotta research ambrosia on phone tablet or computer i wasn't getting the option on the computer but i might see if after we click this one if we get the option now so let's see also we are delicate fashion okay so she liked someone with the rocker fashion i'm assuming that's grim oh we are focused now from researching garden okay let's see Okay, let's see if we go back to the computer now, if we go to web research, still not getting the option to research Ambrosia or everywhere else. Hold on, let, let me see. Oh, it's literally right there. It's right there. You guys have probably been yelling at me the whole time. That's right there. It's not under research. It's under just the regular choices. Okay. All right. Well, let's go ahead and research Ambrosia. Let's go. Oh, we unlocked another reward. Let's go here. What did we unlock? We unlocked this book. What is this book? Cooking level one. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, 
get this on the way. Finish researching because this literally takes forever. She was just so excited. She just like put her fingers up to her face and twiddled them. It was so cute. It was so cute. Okay. All right. Assistant to the Grim Reaper. Great. You've scratched the surface about Ambrosia, but this is just the beginning. I need more details. Keep nurturing your garden. Okay. Why did we get the phone call over again? Wait, what? This is the same phone call we just got earlier. Are you kidding me? Did it start over? Wait, what? What? No. I mean, uh, uh huh. But we already completed it. I'm so confused. Hold on. Come here. I've claimed these. Re I, okay, I got a new reward I can claim. So we got some earrings we can claim, which is fantastic. But why did it start that uh, that event over? Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. I thought once I finished it, it was going to go away. Okay, well, we still got to do this. Why haven't we got the... Oh, wait. So, apparently, you have to go to our mailbox. This person's here. Yeah, I don't feel like talking to you. Sorry. Our mail... Our... The mailman is here, so we should be able to get the mail and receive our letter, I'm assuming. Oh, people are here. We might want to change our outfit. Hold on. MC Command Center... Let's go ahead and do dresser, change into your hot weather. Fantastic. Thank God I make hot weather and every day the same outfit. <laughs> okay, but we'll go out of our house looking normal so these people don't expect we're working with Grimm. We've collected everything from the mailbox. Did we not get our letter? Ambrosia Society letter. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and read the letter from Bright. Oh, Ina. Let's see. Welcome to our latest series where we guide you through a process of cooking ambrosia. If you have a, your Snapdragon plant, then the next step is to work on your cooking and gardening skill. The best way to do that is to feed your garden and yourself. Okay, so it wants to, it has a cooking lesson for like uh, the lessons in the on in the game, which I don't really need. But let's go ahead. We got a cooker recipe with level three or higher, which means we have to get our cooking skill up. Oh, man. We we don't even have a cooking skill. Okay. We have to buy the gramophone and ask the spirits about ambrosia. Okay, this is the thing. We uh, have the seance table because I had the paranormal stuff pack. But this is supposed to be a base game quest scenario type situation so why is it requiring the seance table when that's not a base game thing <laughs> i'm so confused but um i guess let's go ahead and ask the spirits about ambrosia while we're out here let's ask the spirits about ambrosia um can you leave can you can we like get you to leave just go away just go away um because you're being really annoying. We're also hungry. Oh my god, why? What? What? No, I told you to go away. Sam is already leaving. Where are you going? Why are you going up to my front door if you're leaving? You also go away. You go away. Okay, you're going out that way. Okay, come on. Get out of here. Why, why are all these people coming to my house? Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even know you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, right, we're going to go over here, and then we'll change back into our outfit, because she's probably tired of being in disguise. So let's go ahead and uh, MC Camille Center, dresser, change outfits into this outfit. Fantastic. All right. And now we can ask the spirits about Ambrosia. All right. I'm actually kind of excited to get this picture. So I'm pretty excited. Let's Let's see if any lights come up. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This is the way. This is the way. wonder if we get this little grim gnome in the background. That would be kind of cute. There we go. Get that shot. Love it. Love it. Okay. So we are asking the spirits about Ambrosia. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, I never realized that that this little statue here, the eyes glow at night. 
Is that, am I the only one that didn't realize that? Okay, hold on. Now that the lights are, have come on and the eyes are glowing, I gotta get th this picture. All right, fantastic. Love this. Love this. But let's hurry up here because, um, you know, this is taking a while. The lights are flickering. That means we probably got an answer. We acquired the uh, medium skill. Love that. Ambrosia, will you share? This is sure to help you in your quest. Start growing your garden. It's plant a snapdragon, apple tree, and cherry tree. So we have to plant a cherry tree? I don't think we even have a cherry. Okay, well, I may. Do I want. Do. If I buy starter fruits, will I get a cherry? Will that be a, that might be a task later on though. Hold on. I just want to see if I get cherry if I, if I open the, the seed packet. I'm, I'm, I'm actually wondering. Let's see. Nope. I got a pomegranate or I got a tomato and a plantain. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Okay. We have to cook a recipe while level three or higher and buy a gramophone. Okay. Um. We need to use the restroom to actually keep care of our needs. Because I have been highly neglecting that. So let's go ahead and use the restroom. Take a brisk shower. And then we do need to get a level 3 cooking. So I think we're going to make a garden salad for tonight. And then I'll probably ha ha have her read something in. Because we do have a little bit more energy. So I'll have her read one of her books. So... Oh, we can get into the, well, can we, I don't, I don't think we're too high skilled to read a gardening skill. So we, but we need to mainly work on cooking skill, but I do want to read the gardening skill one too. We'll see. We'll see. Hold on, let, let's get her in the shower first and then get her to eat it. it. Should, should we have her read the cooking book before we have her cook? Then I guess that would make sense. Because she's about to cook for the first time. So when she gets out of the shower, she can read her book. Okay, let's see. Oh, good. She changed in the right outfit. So let's read our book. Get our, it, some cooking skill here. Because we should be able to uh, get our skill up quite quickly. I'm kind of glad she sat in this chair. I thought this was like the perfect little reading chair. Also, I want to purchase a fish. There we go. We have a little bone fish now. How cute. It just swimming around and whatnot. Love that. Love that for us. Okay. Well, let's fast forward this. Oh, yeah. Our, our cooking skill is already halfway there. We'll probably make a garden salad and be, and be on our way to level two. Are we going to get a whole skill boost from reading this book in a tiny home? Wow. Okay. We got a cooking skill level two. Okay. Is this all we're going to need to to get our skill up? Is reading this book. I mean, I know I'm getting a school uh, a skill boost because I'm in a tiny home, but still. Hey, come on, come on. How much longer do you have? I wish this had a bar that shows how much longer she had to read this. Other weird guidance when communicating with the dead, sparked by clouds. So you still have research garden. Oh yeah, you're really hungry. Look, I'm trying to get you to where you can cook something. Oh my god, you're you were so close to a reading or uh, finish reading. Yeah, you got to cooking skill level three. Okay, I think this book has um done what we need. I really think this book has done what we need. Can you just put it back in your inventory? Like, was it necessary to throw it on the ground? Can and you're just glitched out. Okay, hold on, reset, drag you to our inventory. There we go. All right, well we got our cooking skill leveled up so i get us we just have to cook a recipe level three or higher so let's go ahead and um have dinner so what do we want to cook i mean i feel like we should cook a garden salad one it's free but we have plenty of money so it's not really that big of a deal and we already because we already have a tomato but also it's her first meal like, I feel like since she's level three, she should be able to cook something more complex, but I don't feel like catching my house on fire. So for her first meal, we're going to go with the traditional first meal of a garden salad. She's still level three or higher, so uh, 
it should be fine. But she is uh, cooking up her garden salad. I think you, oh, you... Is it... Is it... Because it's level 3, that... Is that when you get the gourmet skill? Is that Or is that level 5? Let's see. We need to... Yeah, I don't think we've unlocked the gourmet skill yet. I think you have to get the cooking skill level 5 to get the gourmet skill. That'll probably be in a future goal. Okay, let's... Get you some garden salad. What quality did you make? Normal quality. Good job. Uh, she met. She made her meal. She admit, I, I I forgot that she didn't uh make any others. I'm used to uh, only fixing like huge servings. Um, let's go ahead. We also need to get up our cooking skill more. So maybe let's watch the cooking channel while we're eating. That might be really handy. Can you not sit there and watch the TV? Okay, I guess you're going to sit in the comfortable chair to watch the TV. That's fine. That's fine. But let's uh, fast forward this. And then after this, uh, the only thing we have left is to buy the gramophone. So, let's go ahead and clean up this dish. Stop watching TV, even though it is getting your skill up really fast, actually. But you're, you're, you need to go to sleep. You need to go to sleep. So let's go ahead and buy a gramophone. So I guess it's pro isn't there a filter? I think there's a filter. Content unlocked. No. Is it under special? What what is it under? I forget. Yeah, event rewards. There we go. There we go. Okay. So unfortunately when you win these items, you still have to buy them, which I think is slightly annoying. But, you know, but this gramophone does come in a bunch of different colors, like a bunch of metal and brass colors. But, of course, we're going to get in the black because that's all we're going to use it for. Oh, that's that's really annoying that it won't face us when sitting in that corner. Why? Oh, why? I guess I could just get rid of the smart speaker and put the gramophone here. Yeah, that fits the vibes better anyway. Can I, like, flip it around? It's not letting me flip it around on the counter, which I find real annoying. Also, I do want to go ahead and get this original freezer bony because I want to collect them all. They're so cute. Okay, I guess I can line these up on the back of the counter here under the TV. So that's our first bony, our bunny bony. Okay, so we have gotten our rewards so we now have to summon the grim reaper okay okay so let's go here to the gramophone i'm very curious about how this works so i'm happy this is a a requirement so let's go ahead and summon the grim reaper okay hold on i want to see this interaction oh she's like begging the the grim phone for grim that's interesting but she's like, please show up into my house. There's no like poof of smoke or anything, but I believe he showed up. I wish he would have showed up like right beside us, but uh, me or socialize the Grim Reaper. Look, we already met him. We have met him. I promise. Okay, but where is he? Where'd he go? I just saw him. There he is. He's on the corner. Okay. <laughs> okay. So let's um come here and maybe call him over. Like, I love the fact that he also came at like 2.30 in the morning. I think that's fantastic. All right, but let's ask for Grim getting his little butt over here. Come on, Grim. Why did they go this way? Why are you standing outside our window? That is not what I meant when I called you over. And look, he has a little skull bunny thing that matches ours. I love it. Okay. Um... I don't know how we're supposed to talk to you through a window, but it wants us to socialize with you. So can we, I want, I want to make it worthwhile. Maybe we can deep thoughts, have a deep conversation about the progress we've made. Or is he forcing us to go outside? He doesn't want to come in our tiny home. He doesn't want to come in our tiny home. Apparently he's making us come out back. Okay. With that gramophone, you can summon me whenever you, you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting. Keep working on your cooking and gardening skills. Okay. So, reward unlocked. We've unlocked another reward. And this one is an energy 
Eyes Potion. Okay, cool. Oh, and we also unlock bees. Okay. We have the Scare Seeker Lock Challenge. A lot with if this challenge fills Sims with enriched excitement and attracts to other Sims while looking ghost for a ghostly good time. So we'll probably put that on the lot. And we also got a happy potion. Drink this potion to enter the happy emotion. So all the quests are completed. You have completed this week's quest. Come back next week for more quest. So I have to wait three days and 16 hours for that. But like I said, I probably won't be putting weekly videos out on this. I am going to do week two and three in one video. So, but I probably won't open this file again before it is time to play again. So right quick, before I forget, let me go ahead and put that new lot trait. Good thing I left a lot trait blank. Okay. And, uh, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I forgot what it was called already. Dang it. What is this called? Sca sa scare Seeker Lot. Oh, it's a lot challenge. It is a lot challenge. I thought it was a lot trait. No, it's a lot challenge. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, put, there it is, Scare Seeker. So, something in the air here that fills you with enriched assignment attracts Sims looking for a literally good time. Yep. All right, so I'm actually kind of curious to see how that, that lot challenge works. So, we'll put that on for next episode. All right, but just to wrap up, let's just quickly go and review everything we got for this week. So, we got one, the gardening level one book and the cooking level one book, which apparently maxes his skill so fast in a tiny home. And then we also got the, uh, the energize potion and the happy potion. Did we get that in our inventory? Yeah. Okay. So literally it's just straight up in our inventory. Oh, we got, oh, we got the bony. We didn't have to buy that in build mode. I was complaining about the fact earlier that we had to buy it in build mode. Okay. So the bonies actually get put in your inventory. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. So you can buy it or you just get a free one. So I bought it for no reason. <laughs> But then also, oh, like I said, we got the bony that we just looked at. And then we got the gramophone. We looked at all the swatch. Well, I actually didn't show off all the swatches. I was pointing out there was a bunch of swatches. So right quick, I will just show off the swatches on the gramophone. Of course, the black one is my favorite, but we already know that. Uh, then there's white. There's like a uh, white with brass, like yellow brass on it. There's a pink and white. There's a brown with gold. There's like a brassy gold with white accents and a red base and then a brown um, with gold. So it does come in a fair amount of colors. So we have that gramophone. And then the last thing we got was the earrings. So right quick, let's go into create a sim and show off the earrings. This will also give me the, the chance to fix their a second everyday outfit. All right, so I fixed her second everyday outfit to be back to the outfit it originally was. But let's go ahead and take a look at these earrings because I haven't looked at them up close yet. So let's see, it should be under piercings. And let's see, earrings, earrings. Let's see, where would they be? Oh, watch them be like all the way on the bottom. I could probably filter it. That's how I found the gramophone earlier. And I don't even have base game on. So let's see. That's the goth ones that kind of look like what we're getting. Here they are. So these are it. Okay. I'm going to have to remove her hair because it's different on both sides and only one ear shows. So excuse her being bald for a minute. But oh my God, these earrings are so cool. Look at this little skull hand holding the ears love that oh, it has this little like scythe thing and it does have the piercing up the ear too. I really like these earrings okay I like these earrings better than I thought I was going to but um when it comes to these earrings I am going to put them on every outfit just because we earned them so we might as well use them but that is all the rewards we got for this part. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little long, but I really enjoyed killing those Sims in the beginning of the video. Honestly, overall, I don't think it's that hard of 
tasks to complete. And I do like the fact they seem to be, like, not dragging the process on. It's very much like, oh, here's this, here's this, here's what you do next. Um, And I do think it's fun to come in and earn rewards. I just, like I said in the beginning, not a fan of time events. I don't like the fact you could miss out. But there is other way you can get the rewards. I don't see how you're supposed to get, like, the lot trait. I guess you could download that as custom content. But if you're on console, that doesn't really help you. So, oh, I don't like the fact that you can miss out on the event. But I do like also rewarding players at the same time that sh- that log on often. I don't know. I don't know. But at least they give, in my opinion, at least they're giving us eight weeks to do the challenge. When it's a six-week event. So, that kind of gives you, like, an extra two weeks. But, overall, I think it was pretty fun. So, anyway, guys. I'm going to end this one right here. So, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that awesome stuff. Because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. Alright?